Well, hello, Shoreline. This is our devotional for Thursday, May 21st. We're going to be looking at Psalm 103, verses 1 through 5. And this is a a fairly well-known psalm. I think when I read it, many of you will recognize it. But I want you to listen to the words and let the Holy Spirit speak to your heart with this declaration of who God is and what He has done, what He continues to do. Psalm 103, beginning in verse 1. Praise the Lord, my soul. All my inmost being praise His holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all His benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases and redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. I mean, there's a lot in those five verses. I want to encourage you to to hear the invitation of this psalm and praise the Lord with all your soul. It's one thing to praise God with our lips, to sing songs of praise. We should do that. But, But our praise shouldn't just come from our lips. It should come from our hearts and the depth of our souls. I want to encourage you in these days to keep praising God but not just kind of a casual, yeah, thank you, Lord, for this. Thank you for that. Thank you for a good meal. God, I praise you. You're a good God. But to say, God, from the depth of my soul, I give you praise. And the psalmist goes on to give some reasons why we should praise God with our whole soul. Because he forgives our sins. He's the God who heals. He's the God who redeems. He's the God who crowns us with love and compassion. He's the God who satisfies us with good things. He's the God that can actually renew our, you know, our vigor our youth like that of an eagle getting new wings to fly. God offers those things to us. So praise God from the depth of your soul and then remember his benefits, his goodness. What has God done for you in the past years, in the past months, maybe in the past days? Notice his goodness. Remember his goodness and praise him for that. And then the psalmist says, who forgives us of our sins, of all the things we can praise God for. Most of all, the greatest of all these things is the gift of Jesus Christ, that he lived a perfect life with no sin. He died on the cross for our sins in our place. He took our shame and our pain and our judgment, and he died. He rose again in glory. He ascended to heaven, and he now intercedes for you and for me. That's worth praise. Remember the forgiveness that's offered. Your sins are not yours anymore, and neither is the shame of those sins. Jesus buried them with himself, and he left them in the grave. Walk in that confidence and in that hope. And then this beautiful idea that he renews our youth like an eagle. I don't know if you've ever seen an eagle flying. Just, just I mean, you've probably seen hawks, but I, I got a chance to see a bald eagle in the Lake Tahoe area. And it was majestic and beautiful. And their flight looks almost effortless. You might want to pray this week, God, uh, I need some renewal. <laughs> I need some wings like eagles. God, would you fill me? Would you renew me? He's waiting for those prayers and he has the power to do that, to fill you. Be patient, but watch for his renewing power to fill you. Will you pray with me? Lord Jesus, thank you that you have been so good to us. Even in a time where there is struggle and pain and and just some real, real honest hardships that many people are facing, you're still our savior. We don't want to forget your benefits. We don't want to forget your forgiveness. We don't want to forget the times you've touched and healed us. We want to remember all of your good gifts. So today, bring to mind your goodness. Bring to mind your grace. Bring to our mind the depth of forgiveness that all of our sins are washed away. And in those memories and holding the truth of those things, bring us hope as we press forward. We pray this in Jesus' name and for his glory. Amen. Well, Pastor Roy is going to give you some encouragement if you're married, some ideas. We haven't shut down Shoreline Church. We've moved to online. Eventually, we'll be on campus and online. But right now, there's a lot of great things happening for married couples online that will help and strengthen your marriage. So listen to Pastor Roy and be encouraged in your marriages. God bless you. And I'll send out a note on Saturday about what's going on in the church. And we'll see you Sunday in worship online. Hello, Shoreline family. In the opening paragraphs of the letter of the Philippian church, the Apostle Paul pens this line. God can testify how I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. Although Paul's circumstances were more severe than ours, I can certainly relate to his desire to be with his people, because we are very much missing all of you. A few weeks ago on a conference call with some church leaders, a friend of mine back east made this observation. 
What was a crack in ministry is now a chasm. The same can be true in our relationships. Our strengths are serving us well, but our weak points are pecking away at us. And the stressors imposed upon us expose the stress within us. That's why we've been sending Relationship Resource Weekly to our Married People email list. Last week, we switched to Fridays with our curated content as everybody's inbox continues to crowd with other things. Tomorrow's resource will focus on what we can do when we have a different stress response than our spouse and how to navigate to neutral ground. If you're not receiving the Married People email, but you'd like to, there's a subscribe button back on the main email. Then you'll also be ready when date nights and Married People Live are back in action. And if you'd like to view the broadcast from two weeks ago, an introduction to love languages, you can find that on the Married People page of the church website, shoreline.church. One last thing, we love hearing from you. Whether it's to celebrate your successes, to resource your relationships, or to partner with you in prayer. So feel free to drop me an email at roy at shoreline.church. And it's true, God can testify how we long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. So Lord, would you grant that we can be back together again, and that very soon. Amen.